Let's just say that I want a practical family electric vehicle. I don't want to jump onto the expensive vehicles like the BMW iX3 or the Tesla Model X. Don't worry, we have two EVs sold at unbeatably low prices. We have the Volkswagen e-Golf and the Vauxhall Corsa e. Both of them have similar prices, so the um, Golf starts from just over 30k and the um, Corsa e starts from just over 26k. Now before we go into the video, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so your notification sound goes off whenever one of our uploads come through. Please also follow us on Instagram, Snapchat and TikTok. If you want us to review a particular vehicle of your choice, please email us at sahilcarreviews at gmail.com. Let's kick off this review by talking about the interiors of both of these cars. As you can see, the Vauxhall have the updated Interlink system, which came out um, um, in 2021 with the Insignia facelift. The Volkswagen e-Golf, so there's Volkswagen's Think Blue Trainer um, infotainment system, which you can um, which you can use via your phone as well um, with Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. Both of these cars have an 8-speed automatic gearbox, but the top spec Elite Corsa E has a 9-speed automatic gearbox. We run to the infotainment systems. As you can see, that you have um, the um, as you could you have DAB radio on the Volkswagen and on the Vauxhall as well. The Vauxhall also, both of the cars have frequency modulation FM as well as DAB if you don't want to use um, either or. Both these cars have Bluetooth connectivity. The Golf has a CD player which is hidden in the glove box but the Vauxhall does not have. Because in 2012 with the Adam, Vauxhall have ditched the CD players in the vehicles. We run to the boot. So as you can see the um, Volkswagen has a bigger boot than the um, Vauxhall because the Vauxhall Corsa E has the same size boot as a Volkswagen Polo. Well, well, anyway, both of the boots are at a square shape, but the volume in the Golf is bigger. And w one thing I must point out, and I must stress this, when you pull the seats down, um, you have, both of the vehicles have a step up, but Vauxhall um, don't have an adjustable boot floor like the Volkswagen Golf. You can raise the floor up in the Golf and you get a completely flat load bay. Move on to the charging speed. So for the e-Golf, it takes 45 minutes to um, charge, and and for the Corsa E, um, it takes seven hours and 15 minutes. And one disadvantage about charging is that the charging ports are in the same position as where the um, petrol um, pump is. That is like a petrol loader, and. Um, Unfortunately, like um, on all on EVs like the t like Tesla um, model um, vehicles, you get the charging um, you get the charging points on both sides. But um, on these cars, it's based on on the normal internal combustion engine vehicles. So that means that the um, it's, and so that means that the charging area is um, like either on the left or on the right. Move on to um, what, what the vehicles like to drive. So it's just like driving the internal combustion engine vehicles, but the um, but you don't hear that um, internal combustion engine. It's just completely silent. And um, both these cars have lane departure warnings. So um, it, it so the um, you hear a beep sound when you um, are on the wrong side of the road. And um, and the um, Golf has um, front and rear parking sensors, meaning that um, that you can use parking sensors while you're driving, and then it can, and then and then you get alerted like um, if like whether you're close to the vehicle in front of you or behind you. Unfortunately, the Vauxhall Corsa E has rear parking sensors only on every single model, meaning that like when you go on reverse gear, the parking sensors come up which happens like on many cars such as the BMW 2 Series Active Tourer. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to smash that subscribe button, smash that like button and smash that bell icon. Bye. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on your notifications, and that way you'll never ever miss a single upload. Please also follow us on our social medias by scanning the QR codes. If you want to see the video that's best suited for you, click here. And if you want to see the best playlist suited for you, click here.